Why is the desktop environment XFCE so great? We're going to discuss that today here on Jeremy's Tech Channel. I'm starting a series based on my quest to understand and use GNU Linux on my laptop. I came in contact with a number of desktop environments. So this series is about four of my favorites and probably the four that users like myself are going to be most interested in. I know window managers are cool and I'm interested in them, but for now, I'm gonna highlight during this video series four that I think are the most compelling. If you're in the Linux space for any amount of time, these names are very familiar to you, but for beginners and new users, doing a walkthrough of each will hopefully arm you with enough information to know exactly what you're looking for. Each have their own workflows, aesthetic, configurability, and tools to get work done. I'll do my best to highlight this in each desktop environment, but today we're gonna to look at XFCE. XFCE is a desktop environment that's famous for its low resource use, but still feeling full featured. We will take a look at two distributions that have XFCE and see how they differ and also what you can expect choosing a distribution of Linux with XFCE on it. First, as you can see here, we're looking at XFCE on Linux Mint. Linux Mint loves giving users an intuitive interface and workflow easy for beginners and out of the way for advanced users and non-tweakers alike. They have their Cinnamon desktop, which is a part of this desktop environment series, but they also provide this XFCE edition. Obviously, they were able to get their theme branding to work with XFCE, and the tools are all there for XFCE. Let's take a look at the resources that are used. First, we'll take a look, we'll just pull up top, and here we are. It looks like with this installed, version on my virtual machine, it's using 565 megabytes of RAM. It doesn't look like it's taking up much resources at all. So if you have a lower end system, as far as, you know, maybe you've got two to four gigs worth of RAM, you know this operating system, this desktop environment specifically, won't get in the way. You're gonna be able to work and work on some applications. I've also installed potentially intensive programs. I installed Blender here, and I'm not gonna actually do any work because I'm on a virtual desktop. But when I brought in Blender, it added another 300 megabytes. And now let's also open up Firefox and we're going to go to youtube.com. We're going to check out Jeremy's tech channel and we're going to go to linuxmint.com and we are going to also check out YouTube again because we want someone else to listen to as well. All right. So now we've added four tabs of, U of Firefox. We've got Blender opened and we've got the desktop environment running. We are at 1.5 gigabytes use. So if you have a two gigabyte system, you probably could at least work with this. You might need to not be as multitasking, but you can definitely use this. And that is great. The other thing is everything is still extremely snappy. I love that. Boom. Now we're back to where we were. For those of you who care about this, now you can see what Linux Mint specifically is running. Um, this version is using the 5.4.0.91 kernel, and it shows that 2,057 packages are installed. So hey, this is great. What does XFCE specifically give you as tools? It's not that big a deal to in one sense, but the fact that we can do a lot of tweaking that are that come with XFCE. You've got this panel tool here. I can 
make this panel smaller or bigger. I can change the appearance. There's a style, you can add a background image. I'm not gonna try that right now for <laughs> on your panel, but that's really great. You also can work through on your panel items here. There also is the ability to integrate quite well with what you do now. So for instance, the Linux Mint team have their software manager that they use and came up just like that. And now if I want to install Audacity, I can. And that is great. I don't know if you can notice, but at least this themed window has rounded corners on the top. It does not on the bottom. The folder or file manager is Thunar is the name. And look, it's simple to the point, gets you where you need to go, right? Boom. It's great. Simple. And I don't know if you're seeing this, but I mean, it is just popping through. This is the XFCE terminal. This is great and simple. Uh, a little minimize and restore windows kind of situation here with this little button here, at least with the Linux Mint version here, you can just minimize all of them quickly and they will be back up, which is great. Super cool, love it. XFCE feels full featured. I'm not missing anything. I can have access to everything that I need and it doesn't get in the way. And there's a lot of tweaking. If I really wanna make this orange, or pink or purple, I can. Whatever, dude, whatever. This gives you a chance to see at least one version of XFCE. This is a fairly traditional workflow. Um, as you can tell, it's not hard for me to navigate and find what I'm looking for. And if I'm looking for something specific, I can type it down here. And there is the display settings, and I can work with that if I'd like. Also on the task manager side, you've got your classic things that you're used to. You've got your clock. That looks a little weird because I didn't make it any bigger like I did the other things for people looking on phones. But anyways, everything is ready for you to use. Just wanted me to update that. You've got a notification. Everything you're used to having on that, on that panel side over there is there and available for you. If you're wanting to change the wallpaper, right click on the desktop menu and there you go. Change your desktop environment. Boom, it's done. You can move on with your day. Love it. Looks like you can put icons on your desktop if you'd like. You can create a launcher, create a folder. Once again, this is Linux Mint XFCE Edition. Next, we're gonna look at Zero Linux XFCE Edition. This one's got a little more tweaking in the visual side of things, the aesthetic of it. You may like it, you may not, you may appreciate the simple layout of XFCE like Linux Mint has it, or you may be looking for something that looks fresh or different. So we're gonna check out how tweakable XFCE is. If you do want to tweak, if you do want to change the look, what can you manipulate to make it the way you want it to look and feel? All right, here is Zero Linux, and this is also the XFCE desktop environment. By the way, XFCE was originally an acronym for X Forms Common Environment, but since that time has been rewritten twice and no longer uses the X Forms toolkit, the name survived, but it's no longer capitalized as XFCE, but rather capital X and then lowercase FCE. Who'd have thought? But look at this, this looks so different. But you've got pretty much everything you need. You've got your terminal. This is using a much newer kernel, if you can see that, 5.16.16, which is cool. Zero Linux has minimal situation here, but a very unique look to it. And I think it looks pretty great, personally. Uh, you've still got all the things you'd want. And it's sitting there for you. Let's go ahead and take a look and see with all of these visual enhancements, at least to my eyes, it's a little bit, it's running a little bit more 
than the Linux Mint XFCE, but not much at all. 585 megabytes at least showing here, which is outstanding. I love that this bar up here is not really a bar. It's essentially three zones here where you've got the information you want. And I really like that. You've got your notifications, you've got your network situation, you've got your power down situation, you've got your clipboard, all of the things that you'd want. I believe these are desktops. So workspaces, I mean, that you've got available to you. So we could open up Firefox and then we could open up the terminal and we could open up the dictionary client. <laughs> and so you've got these workspaces right here and something else that Zero Linux has done. If you push the Windows key, you get a launcher and it's super cool. I really like that. Right clicking on the desktop, you still have some of the same functionality. I mean, XFCE is there. Same right click, change the desktop and move on. Settings, your desktop, your display. My point is, is you still have the same functionality and full featured nature of XFCE in a very different looking um, and workflow change that's there that you know feels different, but it's still XFCE. And I really love that. I love that XFCE is, as you can see, configurable. It's, as you can see, low on resources. And the workflow makes sense. It's easy to walk yourself through and use it. This is why XFCE is so great. I really suggest using it whether you want to have the most amount of resources available from your hardware and let your operating system be out of the way, or whether you're old, uh, using older hardware and you don't have very much resources to use, this is a way to get a full featured desktop environment and still work, still make things happen for you. XFCE, thumbs up for me. See you next time. <laughs>